Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.1 on VirtualBox. So first go to Kali.org, it is the official website. Then click on download. Then click on installer images. See here we have two options. Virtual machines or installer image. Select installer images. Then see here we have the Kali Linux 2025. Okay. And now we can download by using direct link or torrent link. Either is fine. Click on this download button. See download started. See here its size is 4.1 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. See here I have already downloaded Kali Linux 2025.1 ISO file. Okay. In your case wait until download completes. Once download is completed then open virtual box. If you can't install virtual box on your machine then there is a link in the video description or you can Search for my YouTube channel, how to install VirtualBox. Okay, open it. Click on new or machine and select new. Either is fine. Then here we have to provide the name for the VirtualBox. I am giving Kali 2025 1 VMware. This is just virtual machine name and this is the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. But if you want some other location, select drop down and select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Then select the downloaded ISO file. Click on drop down and select other. Then select the downloaded ISO file. Then click on open. See once you select it, type change it to Linux. But select subtype as Debian, see you don't have Debian, select Debian, then select version as 64 bit, then come to hardware, by default memory selected as 2 gigabytes, I am going to give it to 4 gigabytes, it is up to you, number of CPU cores, 2, then hard disk, I am giving 50 gigabytes, these are hardware and hard disk are based on availability, then click on OK. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click settings or click on settings or machine and select settings. All three options are same. Okay. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on start or right click start, then normal start. All both the options are same. Click on start. Use up and down arrows, select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. See if cursor is grayed out, just press right control key on your keyboard to release the cursor. Now select the language and click on continue. Select your location from this list. If your location is not listed, then click on other. Okay, select. Click on continue. Select keyboard language and continue. Now we have to give the computer name and host name. Later also you can change the host name or computer name after installation. Click on continue. If you have domain, you can provide domain name. If you don't have, keep it as blank and click on continue. Now we have to create our setup user. So I am giving user full name as after schools. Then click on continue. This will be the username. Click on continue. Now set the password for this account. Remember this password which is required to connect to Kali Linux. Then click on continue. Now we have to set the time zone. See, uh, see here the time zones. These are all US based time zones because we have selected country as United States okay but if you want to change the country again go to back back and you can change okay I am okay with the eastern so click on continue I am going with partition list I am going with guided use use entire disk and continue select the day disk and continue all files in one partition in one partition then click on continue see 
partition. If you want to undo changes to partitions, you have to select this one. I am okay with that one. So, finish partitioning and write changes to this and continue. Confirmation, just click on continue. See, now it is installing base system. Okay, this will take time. Please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. Now, see here, by default, selected desktop environment as XFC. If you want like Xenome or KDE Plasma, you can select it. Okay, I am okay with XFC. So, click on continue. It is up to you. See here, install the grub bootloader to your primary drive. Select S and click on continue. Select the device and continue. See here, installation complete. So it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the system rather than restarting the installation. Okay. So go to virtual box manager. See here, optical drive is already empty. If it is not empty, just click on optical drive. Then select this remove disk from the virtual drive. Then go to virtual machine. Then click on continue to reboot. Now provide the username and password that we have created. Then click on login. See, we got the full screen. Okay, now open terminal. Increase the font. on ok click on apply close this one see font has been increased now if the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed kali linux 2025.1 ok and its id is like debian that's why at the time of installation we have selected version as debian ok control also click on this applications See here we have different types of applications. See different sections are there. In these sections we have the subfolders. Okay. So you can go through each application and you can practice them. The first step after connecting to Kali Linux 2025.1 is we have to update the packages. Sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter provide the password of sudo user hit enter. Type and hit enter. See, updation and upgradation is in progress. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.1 on VirtualBox. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.